YBM. We are going to stretch today. Remember, we are in a time of transition, guys, and so it's just really important that you remember always to stretch and take good care of your bodies. When you stretch and you build flexibility, you're actually creating a ton of protection for your bones, your joints, and your muscles. So the more flexible you are, the more protected you are. And so it's really important to just make sure that you are um, stretching after every workout, if not at least every other day. Um, the more often you stretch, the better. All right, so um, I like to stretch using dynamic uh, movements, meaning like you stretch through motion um, rather than staying static. So I'm gonna give you a mix of both, but we're gonna start um, with some dynamics. So what I want you to do is open up your legs nice and wide, and we're gonna shift our weight in a nice lunge here, side to side. Remember, when we're in transition, sometimes it's hard, right? Transition isn't meant to be easy. It's meant to challenge you and push you outside of your comfort zone. And, you know, especially in fitness, you're pushing your body to new limits that you never thought you could do. And so every time we're working out, we're asking you guys to push yourselves. We're asking you not to quit. Right? We're asking you to just step outside of that comfort zone and blow your own boundaries out of the water. Okay, So that's what we're doing here today. We are going to stretch and strengthen at the same time. All working mind, body, and spirit. If you want to put on some nice calming music to stretch to, I recommend it. There you go. You get your, your mindset right. You get your spirit in the right position. Right, And all the while, we're working our bodies a little bit in a smoother, slower way. All right, hopefully that feels pretty good. What I want you guys to do now is we're going to move our shoulders in a nice big backwards rotation. We carry a lot of stress and tension in our shoulders, which is not where it belongs, right? Your shoulders don't belong to be up by your earlobes as earrings. They're meant to sit stacked strongly on top of your rib cage, which is a strong structure of bones that can support you. So let's just right now get that tension and that stress out of your shoulders. All right, breathing. We're going to change direction. Bring those shoulder rolls forward nice and large, okay? As much extension as you can get and a big drop on the way down. Nice. Breathing. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna do some swimmers, I call them. You're gonna bring your arms forward like you are swimming. And I actually really want you to get your rotator cuffs involved here. And I want you to really get a good rotation. And it's okay if your, your torso is twisting a little bit. That's okay, keep your abs engaged. Again, we're just getting that, those knots and all that junk out of your shoulders. All right, let's switch direction going backwards. Nice trunk rotation, doing a little backstroke. Imagine you're pressing that water with your hands to move through it smoothly. All right, if you're crunchy, keep moving through it, okay? That's what I call it when my muscles don't wanna let me do something. I say I feel crunchy. <laughs> and stretching gets out the crunch. Bodies are meant to move in a fluid, smooth, graceful motion, right? Okay. Now, if you're anything like me, you're really missing hugs, so we're gonna hug ourselves. So take your left arm over your right, elbows are stacked on top of each other, and you're just gonna squeeze through your shoulder blades. Let that go. Other arm on top, squeeze. All right, we're getting dynamic here. We're firing up our muscles. As we move dynamically through our stretches, what we're doing is we're creating a lot of warmth, a lot of heat within our muscles, which allows us to break up what's called lactic acid, which builds up when we're sore. When you strengthen your muscles, when you're doing cardio or you're stretching or you're strengthening with weights, anything that you're using your muscles for, you tear fibers, and what comes in its place is lactic acid to build up, right? And so we need to break that up so we're less sore, and the only way to do that is to create some heat through movement. All right. A couple static arm stretches, right arm across your chest, pull. Breathe in. Switch. Okay, right arm up and behind you, reach down your spine, pull on your elbow a little bit, stretch your triceps. Okay. 
All right, other arm. Awesome. Okay, this is my favorite. We do this a lot in my workouts uh, because I think it feels amazing through your chest and your upper back. So inhale, bring your arms up above your head. We're good. I gotta back up so you can see my hands. Sorry, Jake. Steps on the dog. All right, arms are coming out. Hands, fingers spread wide. We're gonna slowly descend, squeezing through your upper back. Feel that through your chest. Really slow descent. Nice. Inhale back up and pull again. We're gonna do this three times. Breathe, breathe, feel that stretch all through your chest and your upper back. And one more time, up. Exhale, release that. Oh, that's like the best. Okay, back into our lunge position. You can point your toe outward. Yeah, sorry, Tank. <laughs> All right, one leg out, po toe pointed forward, other leg back, toes facing front. Lean down on, your, el on your, your elbow to your knee, right arm comes up, look up at your elbow, take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold, reach through that arm. You're gonna feel that all through your hip flexor. Feels amazing, all through your obliques as well. If you can reach slightly behind your head, you're gonna intensify that stretch. Always looking up at your elbow, Nice. Now, from here, I want you to go deeper in your lunge. And I want you to try to reach towards the floor. And I want you to bring that arm up again. Now, see if you can't straighten out that front knee. Ooh, that feels good. All the back of your leg. Still looking up towards the ceiling. Nice. All right, bend your knee to come back up out of that. Awesome. Now switch directions, so right foot, toes face the, that way, and left foot, toes face forward. Elbow comes down to your knee, sink into it. Left arm comes up, looking up at your elbow, deep breath in. Exhale, reach that arm down towards your head. Feel that stretch all through your hip. Now reach your arm behind your head slightly to intensify the stretch. Always looking up at the ceiling. Really reach. Good, release that. Come on down deeper into that lunge. Right hand down towards your right foot. Bring that left arm up again. Now try to straighten out your right knee. Looking up, intensify that stretch through your leg. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, come up out of that. Now what I want to do is actually have you go to the other side, down onto your knee, back knee. And what we're gonna do is I just want you to actually lean towards the floor. You're gonna feel a great stretch all through your hip here. If you need to brace yourself on the floor, you can, but then now you're gonna feel it in the other leg. So that's just kind of a different stretch altogether. So start here and then drop down, hands to the floor. Now what you can do is come up off your back knee and I want you to try to drive your back heel towards the floor and now you're gonna feel that through your calf. And if you want to, you can shift your weight front to back and just kind of move organically through that and you're gonna feel a really good stretch all through your legs on both sides. All right, let's transition by going into a plank and pulling your right knee in now to do the same thing. So back knee down, up tall on your knee. Enjoy that stretch through your hip. Now hands to the floor. Now you're gonna feel a little bit of a different angle there. And then come up on your back toes. Drive your back heel to the floor so you get that calf stretch. And then shift your weight gently front to back to stretch through that a little bit. Good. Now, let's walk your feet forward. Now you're in this little bent over position. Let's just hang out here for a second and walk your hands over to the right. Now you're gonna feel a stretch up your side body as well as your legs. Breathing here. 
Let's walk your hands over to the left. If you can't touch the floor, it's okay. You can use your leg for support. Walk your hands back to the middle. Now slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. And you should feel really good right now. How are you feeling? I'm hoping you're feeling awesome, feeling relieved. We're gonna actually come down onto the floor and do a few, few stretches from the floor. So have a seat. And I'm gonna actually start with your neck. So all you're gonna do is just sit like crisscross applesauce. Nice and easy. Okay, now take, take a second to make sure that your weight is evenly distributed on both of your sits bones. Sit up really nice and tall so your spine is aligned. And all I want you to do is take a deep breath in, and as you inhale, look up. Exhale down. All the way down. Chin to chest. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale down. Come back to neutral neck. Now you're going to inhale, you're going to turn your head to the right, and when you exhale, you'll come back to the middle. Okay, so we'll do to the right three times. Go ahead, inhale to the right. Exhale back to the middle. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the middle. One more time, right. Exhale, middle. And we're going to go to the left. Inhale, left. Exhale, middle. Inhale, left. Exhale, middle. Inhale, left. Exhale, middle. All right, that should have felt pretty nice. Okay, now, what I want you to do is put your feet out in front of you. Knees are bent. Hands behind you, by your butt. Right foot up over your left knee, and I just want you to press through your hands and really just enjoy that stretch. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me a little bit better. Allow your knee to relax outward so that you hit that hip flexor. Our hips, between your hips, your neck, and your shoulders, you're going to carry a lot of tension that you may not even realize, so that's why I'm focusing so much on your hip flexors today. All right, drop your left leg straight down. And right foot is just going to sit on the, on the left side of your knee. Inhale your left arm up into the air. Exhale, bring your elbow down and twist. This should feel good on your back. Try to look behind you. Every breath, twist a little deeper. Your back might crack. Feels really good. All right. Same thing on the other side. So knees are bent. Left leg is coming over, left ankle onto your right knee, and we're just gonna lean through our hands here and let our knee drop outward. This is hard for some people, so just you know, be patient with yourself, it's okay. If you can't get your knee to drop naturally, then you can use your hand a little bit to press it, um, but, you know, or even just slide your foot out a bit so you're not so high up. But the closer your knee is to your chest, obviously the more intense the stretch is. All right, let's drop that right foot down. Right arm comes up, elbow to knee. Nice supine twist here. Inhale and exhale. And with every exhale, I want you to twist a little deeper. We're gonna hang out here for a minute. you to come down onto your back, hug your knees into your chest, and I just want you to roll side to side. Side to side. It's a little back massage, a lower back massage. It feels really good. You don't want to let yourself collapse over to either side. You're just rolling. It feels great. Now I want you to try to take your knees, and I just want you to roll them and draw a circle with your knees. Okay? side to side and you're still going to be feeling that all in your lower back. 
but let your knees come as close to your chest as possible and then let your tailbone rock so as you go downward with your knees, they're going out pretty far so that you're hitting your sacrum, which is the base of your spine. Now let's change direction, because also what we're working here is your core. A couple of circles being drawn here. All right, now come sit up a little bit. And I want you to just go over onto all fours, hands and knees. We're gonna do a little cat-cow, take care of your spine. So we're gonna round your back, and then you're gonna arch your back. That's the motion, okay? Breathing through that. Go ahead, do that a few times. And really just extend, expand through. Tuck your belly button in on your arch, and then expand and press your belly button towards the floor. And one more time. And that's it. All right, we're just firing up those muscles around your spine. Now I'm gonna have you just sit back onto your heels, bring your forehead to the mat, and just rest here for a second. Melt your chest towards the floor. Breathe, relax. This is a great position if you ever have cramps or a stomach ache. Very relieving position. And then the last thing I want you to do is just come onto your belly and I want you to just press up a little bit at a time. First time, just come up a little, pressing through your hands and then drop back down. I'm not expecting a full arm extension the first try, but this you're gonna feel through your back and your core. Down. One more time, see if you can't get a full arm extension on the last one. All right, back onto your belly. Okay, hopefully you guys feel really good. I think that was long enough. Um, you guys are amazing. Um, it's just so important to stretch and sometimes it feels good to do static stretching and other times it feels really good to do something more dynamic and really move through the stretch. So hopefully this was beneficial to you. Hopefully you feel really good um, after this and you can go about your day with a little more flexibility. And remember as we're transitioning, right into our strongest selves into um, just you becoming more every single day just remember that we are here to support you 100 percent of the time you can always reach out and this community really will have your back we're happy to help you through anything that we can um, and we're just so blessed that you have chosen ybm to uh to really help you through this this journey in this time so take care you guys enjoy